welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Great North Wrestling. Max Mooney here, along with Steven Mantis, all the way from the UK. Yes, and we have a very special match here. It's a handicap contest between the seven foot tall Darko and two opponents. That's right, two great wrestling superstars taking on the big seven foot tall Darko. Huge size advantage here for Darko, but of course it is two on one, which is a disadvantage. But of course, Darko has the evil Dark Cash on the outside, as we see a huge clothesline from Darko. That's right, but keep in mind, Darko has been undefeated for several years now here in Great North Wrestling. That can come into play. He is a monster. He has been scouted by WWE. He has been compared to The Undertaker as he appears to have Pat Shemmy by the neck, throws him into the corner. Unbelievable, look at the air. And Dark Cash must be happy on the outside as Darko delivers a big hit to the face of Shenny. That's right, this is a handicap match, but you have to remember Dark Cash is out there. Dark Cash has got involved in almost every single match. Any wrestler he manages, he always gets involved. How do you think that's going to come play? Uh, I don't know if Darko is really going to need Dark Cash in this match. He appears to be making short work of the team here as we see a big hip toss there on Shenny. Look at the welt on the back of Shenny. Just ragdolling him, you can see the flesh being thrown around as Darko stomps on his body. Darko having some fun here. He wants another Big shot slam. at the Canadian title without a doubt. That's right, everybody's hungry for that Canadian heavyweight championship right now held by Hannibal. Shenny's partner making his way into the ring now, consoling Shenny a bit. This man appears to be about 6'4", 6'5", maybe a bit more of a match for Darko, That's probably right. 250, 260 pounds. He's not a small man, this could be a competitor for Darko. Now, Darko, the mysterious man from parts unknown, is enjoying this match by the looks of it right now as we see a big lock up here by the two beasts. That's right, not much is known about Darko other than the fact he loves inflicting pain. He loves hurting his opponents and he loves just humiliating his opponents after he wins. His opponent has a shirt on that says death penalty. Well, he might be receiving the death penalty in this match. Very well maybe as Darko hammers away. Big, big shots to the back there. You can hear those throughout the arena. Look, another shot to the back. Dark Cash encouraging his superstar. The man on the floor is in a great deal of pain right now as Darko nails him with a punch to the jaw. Almost going to our camera and just Darko stomping away, putting that 300 pounds into play. Choking him now in the corner with the big boots. Incredible flexibility shown by Darko here. Darko has a lot of great talent. Of course, he's usually compared to The Undertaker, but he's actually a little bit taller than The Undertaker. That's right, he's a legitimate seven feet tall. As Very he misses his flash in the corner. Followed up by a tackle by this man, but this man's taken such a beating. I almost saw his head get ripped off there as Darko just a big fright train going right through him. Of course, Pat Shenny now saying, don't touch me on the outside. Darko may be ending this match right here. Right. Could this be the, the big leg drop? And he misses the leg drop. He misses the leg drop. You want to make the tag here right now. But now he goes for the clothesline. Darko actually goes over. But he lands on his feet. Lands pulls the man outside of the ring. Very quick maneuvers by Darko here. You can see his experience coming to play. Not only landing on his feet, but quickly going for that opportunity. He knows he has no allies in this match. And he's in trouble here. It's wow. Pat Shenny with the cheap shot. It's a smart move to attack him from behind, but it didn't last very long. Darko has such a thick back. He's such a massive man. It's going to take more than one hit from behind to take him down. No, I totally agree. Darko is a superstar. I would have messed with, that's for sure. And just Darko throwing his opponent into that guardrail. Darko, this is where one of the places where he's very comfortable fighting on the outside. But right now, he's taking a bit of a beating here from his opponents. The double team tactics may be working as you see the crowd scattering. That's right, those metal guardrails coming into play. Of course, we use real metal guardrails here. We don't use any kind of padded guardrails and, of course, concrete floors. And speaking of hard surfaces, there is a steel post that Darko was just thrown into with the force of two men. That's right, going to the steel post. Now, Darko's really in trouble here. He has no one to tag and he has no allies. Ring announcer Dylan Black does not look too happy about being moved out of the way by Darko. You can see the size difference. Dylan Black, about six feet tall, and he just looks like a midget compared to Darko. That's right. Dylan Black's not a small man, but moving out of the way very intelligently. I wouldn't want to be near these guys. Anything could happen, of course. Darko just had his head smashed into the wooden table. Now he's being thrown back into the ring by these two men. And now it appears they're just disregarding the tag rule. Well, it looks like uh, Darko might be getting the death penalty here, speaking of that shirt. Darko getting whipped into the corner. The referee not trying to encourage the other man to get out of the ring. No, that's right. The referee doing the wrong thing here. He should encourage the other man to leave. This is an impressive move. 
One splash to the corner, followed by a jumping splash from the other oh, man. Shades of the Hardy Boys. And they are not holding back on those smashes to the back. Finally, the referee getting Pat out of the ring. This, is, of course, is a two-on-one match, but both men are not in at the same time. Now, this is an impressive display of power. Death penalty gets Darko over in a suplex, but it only is a one count. He goes flying about I, 10 feet. I think he had just as much power as uh, Death Penalty had in that suplex. Definitely. Darko back to his feet now. As he's being taken to the corner of these two men, and they're just wailing on top of And I think this is where Darko is really in trouble now. He has nobody to tag. Getting very tired here now. Both men utilizing that 10 count. Definitely, it's playing a part in this, the double team action here as Darko taking some football tackles to the corner. Darko has to get out of that corner or he's done for. Darko, of course, possesses a huge ability to withstand physical punishment, so I wouldn't count him out just yet. Big shoulders to the guy. The big man tagged back into the ring right now as Shenny having some problem getting to his feet, it appears. Darko now might be in trouble here. Another tag team maneuver. What's going to happen here? Backbreaker combined with a kiss to be like a slot drop type this of thing. This could be a two man pin. What's going on here? Darko just throwing them off. Why is this referee not getting one of these men out of the ring? That's over 400 pounds at least being thrown off by Darko. Darko, I don't know if he ever enters the gym. He appears to have superhuman strength, but that was impressive. That's right. It looks like both men might have to pin. If both men can't take him out, then I'm not sure what's going to happen here. It looks like Darko's back to his feet now. Darko being thrown against the rope. Darko reverses Big it. Big reversal. Huge boot to the face. Size 22 right to the face of this man. Hard shot there. Darko looks to be fired up. He might be going for that patented, patented choke slam. And when Darko gives a choke slam, you're eight or nine feet up in the air with the size of Darko. Look at the size of the arms alone. They're just massive and thick. Big hand around the neck. What's going to happen here? 260 pounds going up. No, reverses. Darko gets smashed in the chest. Hits the ropes. Goes for a clothesline. Another big hit. Darko is not going down. This man is tired. He is beat up. He has almost no power in that clothesline. But this is powerful. I guess he has some power left in his legs. Pitt to be going for a Samoan drop. Doesn't work. Darko throws him. Misses the clothesline. He hits the rope. Darko has him in a choke slam. This could be it right here if he have, uh, has the ability to get the choke slam. That would be a double choke slam. Of course, we saw Dirk Cash hitting one of the men with a chair in the back. That's getting Dark with the advantage. Both men double choke slam here, and both men being pinned at the yeah. same time. That's all she wrote here. Darko is victorious in this handicap match. The dead man has won the match, and he has no interest in having his hand raised by the referee. His win streak continues here in Great New Wrestling. Very impressive victory here. Darko angry with the referee over not getting one of the men out of the ring, and now he's got a chair inside the ring. He's got a chair. He's already, he's already defeated these men. This is uncalled for. Big chair shot. I told you about humiliating, humiliating his opponents after the match. The referee has got to grab this chair. He's going to cause permanent injury to these two men. This is not what Great New Wrestling is about. Now this is totally uncalled for, total disrespect for the rules.